My favorite part of the day is here, and that is reaction time. Today we're seeing plays that got the crowd hype, whatever that means. And all people on their feet celebrating. Yesterday, I told y'all to subscribe because about 70% of the people that are watching these videos weren't subscribed. And like 5,000 people subscribed yesterday. So I'm going to tell y'all again to subscribe if you have not. There's a little button that says subscribe. And if you really, really mess with me and you really, really mess with these reactions, there's another button that's a little bell. So you get a notification every time I upload. Subscribe. 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 And I'm telling y'all to subscribe because it just makes things so much easier for you and me when uh, we have this virtual agreement that my videos pop in your sub box. But the first play of today's video, what it is. LeBron for three. This is a Danny Green tip dunk. People forgot that Danny Green had a little bit of bounce. You know what I'm saying? I think Dwight Howard covered his head like he couldn't believe it happened. And listen, he got drug tested after that. Because even the NBA was like, mm, he might be taking PEDs because this 6'6 six, six guy who ain't never seen do that before did that. This is one of my favorite plays of the season so far. Jalen Brown, knock it down. Again, everything perfect had to happen for that to work. What makes it worse, though, is that they end up losing this game. Uh, I think Russell Westbrook decided to take off in this one, if I'm not mistaken. They end up losing, but this is like the perfect scenario. And yes, this is the definition of having a crowd hype. Okay, what do we have here? Markeith Mo Mar Marcus Morris, I saw Maxi Kleber step back at the Garden. You know what's crazy? Even though the Knicks suck, uh, the Mecca's always packed. You know what I'm saying? Fans always come out there for him. Oh, yeah, this is another Malik Monk. We saw this in yesterday's video. We're starting to get to the point where things are cycling through, but that's okay. That's okay because I'm okay with seeing this dunk over and over again because it's that nasty. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Game seven time. Game from that spot. Same exact spot. Barclays Center, you know what I'm saying? This is like one of his first games, right? One of his first games a part of this team. Perfect spot. Shout out to uh, Richard Jefferson for the call because he did a pretty good job that game. All right. I'm guessing, yeah, Zion, get on my way, baby. You're a baby. National TV. You remember when the Pelicans found out they had the number one pick? Like, they sold out of the season tickets like that. So all of these fans are season ticket holders pretty much. Oh, LeBron. LeBron over Josh Hart. And I think LeBron tweeted this picture out, but he freeze-framed it right as his nuts was on Josh Hart's face. <laughs> That's what happened. This is the biggest. No, no, no. This is the biggest crowd hype moment this season. You know how long we have been waiting to see this happen? He, I think he did it one more time, like two weeks later, and he ain't done it since. That is the biggest crowd hype moment. Okay, Luca up by two, step back, the dagger with 26 seconds left. Brent Forbes didn't stand a chance. Didn't stand a chance. Pascal Siakam, spin move in the paint, and one, and one. Is this? Hmm. I'm trying to remember if this was open at night. It feel like open at night, but I could be wrong. Malik Monk, game winner. Nasty. Nasty. Early in the season, this is when the Hornets were actually looking solid to start off the year. We like, oh, we thought this team was going to win 15 games, and they ended up being way better than 15 games. Kawhi Poster. Kawhi Poster. Okay, okay, okay. That'll definitely get the crowd hype. Where's the one? Other than the Ben Simmons one, the Ben Simmons one is the only one that got me super, super hyped seeing it. That could be one, too. That can be one, too. Hold on. Don't jump. Who's that? Mike Muscala? You still no chance whatsoever. Miss Chris Boucher, tip dunk. But all of these, I mean, whoever made this compilation, again, link is in the description always to the original video. He knows how to pick the moments because, yes, the crowds are going crazy. It's just me that's probably not going as crazy. This is an overrated moment in my eyes. Yeah, it's a block. An NBA player blocked a dummy NBA player? Hmm? No. Nah. Okay, Miles Turner, yes, and this was a cut. This is like a week after I had spoke to this man. So like, every time I have an interaction with an NBA player, he goes on a super hot streak, and I'm a, I'm gonna keep saying that until somebody proves me otherwise. Full court pass, Stephen Adams. This video, this part has been in every single video. It feels like of the past two weeks. It is a nasty, nasty moment, and you can see the crowd. Okay, Dame Lillard from the Motor Center. Oh, never mind. Alec Burks. Oh, my God. 
Oh my God, may I have this dance, Mr. Burks? 54. Yes, this is, yes, yes, yes. I remember that game now that you said that. LeBron poster, definitely get the world hype. This gets me hype too. That gets me hype too. When you think about his age and everything, you think about this almost a seven foot player he going over. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is the Jay Crowder game winner. Early in the season, Jay Crowder. Game. Game done. And this is like the moment a lot of people realize, huh, the Grizzlies could be a lot better than we expected them to be. Jay Crowder game winner. That was their first game that they won that season. Oh, my God. Chris Boucher. I ain't seen that one. That's a new clip for me. Darius Baisley. Not only did he get dunked on, but the ball bounced off his head. Double whammy. Bojan in the corner against the Bucks. I remember this one. He called game. He called game. Bojan has been a great addition to that team, man. Because it gives another player that can take the game with a shot other than Donovan Mitchell. Another player that can take that shot. Okay. Paul Millsap basing the triple team to Jokic for the game. It got us hype. But Jokic is just the most, like, effortless looking player of all time. Like, for real. That's a highly difficult shot. But he just made it look so easy. Yup. Yup, Bradley Beal. Uh-huh. They should have the Chicago... Oh, you know what I was going to say? The Chicago Bulls, Zach Levine game winner. That's the opposite of a crowd hype moment because it was in Charlotte. So I doubt that's on here. I doubt that's on here. But it got me hype at the crib. I'll tell you that much. Jason Tatum gets a double block. Early last season, double block. Yeah, look at Danny Green getting the crowd hype twice in one video. Oh, this is the Tyler Hero. He said, hold on, I got us. Bang! And that is, yes, yes. That's the definition of a crowd hype moment too, man. All of Miami. That took some big cojones to take that shot. I remember watching this and I was like, what is Joel doing? Not only, not only did he turn the ball over, he didn't really give that much effort getting back on defense that play. I'm going to be honest with you. That's a rookie. Oh, speaking of crowd hype. One, two, three, four. I can imagine being in this arena in Toronto and that like this in the entire city when this shot went down. In the game seven, a buzzer beater game winner. How many times have we seen that? In the game seven, a buzzer beater game winner. Not that many times in history. So to see that happen, to be in the crowd had to be legendary. To be in the city had to be legendary. But again, this is an all-time hype moment too. I think you should have ended the video with this one. You should have ended the video with this one. You should have ended the video with this one, bro. It still it still gives me chills to watch that shot. It still gives me chills to watch that shot, man. That is a ridiculous shot. And then the wave, and then the memes, and then everything that came to it. Them making a Western Conference Finals run was definitely out of nowhere. Yep, Miles Bridges. Electric, yeah. Maybe if there was more people in the crowd, that would be more of a, a crowd moment. Because it's not that many people at this game. But hey, it is what it is. Oh, this is, uh, no, no, this is Bo Bogyan, not Bogyan, Bogdan for game. Yeah, last season. I love the Sacramento Kings announcers. You don't like Kings basketball. I love their announcers, man. I really love their announcers. James Harden on Jamal Murray made him fall, got up, and it and warned him. Come on, dog. Come on, Jamal. Woo. Luckily, Jamal has caught a couple bodies, so this is not what people think about all the time when his name pop up. I guess people think about other things now when his name pop up, but it ain't that no more. I wish, it, man, I wish that Zach Levine clip was in here. That's one of my favorite moments of the season. Actually, it might be my favorite moment of the season because it's not every day that the Bulls win a game, you know what I'm saying? The 360 alley-oop dunk. That's a nice one. That's a nice one. Shout out to Yogi Ferrell for throwing the perfect live for this situation. Beautiful. Beautiful. I like it. Okay. PG. Is this the, the, the block? Oh, no. He went over. He did go over. This is a double OT. I thought he got blocked, but he did go over. Over Rudy Gobert right there. That's beautiful. That's that's the MVP G13 because, if I'm not mistaken, Russell Westbrook had fouled out of this game. So, it's really Paul George going nutty. Yes. Wade, like his last game winner ever. And then he jumped on the scores table, and he's like, this is my house and everything. And then, like, KD and Steph and them, they were just laughing because they knew. It's like his last one, probably. 
And it was the most flukiest shot ever, bro. <laughs> like, you couldn't get better defense than that. Jokic. Game. That's a crazy shot, yeah. Get well soon, Dwight Powell. When he got injured, I felt so bad. I was watching the game live when he got injured. It was so sad. Mario Hizonia with the defensive stop on Christmas. Let's go. I'm pretty sure this is Christmas. I could be mistaken, but I'm pretty sure it was Christmas like two, three years ago. Two years ago, last year. Pretty sure this was Christmas Christmas Day. Uh, what do we have? What do we have? Oh, the Trey Young game winner. Yes. I talked to Trey Young about this, and he was talking about how cringy he, he, he cringes every time he sees this. Because of all of his celebrations. Oh, you like that? And then I think he beat on his chest. He did a couple different, like, celebrations after this. He did the shimmy. Yeah, he did a couple different things. He's like, I, and when you're in the moment, you don't really think about what you're doing. Oh, Jeff Green. Hold on, Jeff. Man, I have this dance. Not only did the crowd go wild, the bench did. Come on, Lance Stevenson. Hooping in the Jordans. Come on, dog. Come on, dog. Chris Middleton turnover. Okay, Kawhi. Okay, I was like, what is about to happen in this fight? I don't even remember that dunk. But Kawhi does do the same dunk over and over. But he does switch hands. Sometimes it's the left, sometimes it's the right. Oh, Iggy at the rim. When was this? Oh, my God, Clint. Get up there. Oh, my God. This is a 20-point, 30-point blowout, basically. The one meal. Okay. All right, I remember this one. I remember this one. I think we saw this yesterday, too. Mouse Turner. Yo, 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 yo. So, again, I, I hate to keep bringing this up. When I met him, we brought this clip up. And, unfortunately, it didn't make the video. But he was like, this is the most contact he's ever had on the dunk before. Unfortunately, it didn't make the final video on House of Highlights. But this dunk is the nastiest, bro. Can I re- I gotta rewind it. I'm sorry. I, can I rewind it? I gotta rewind it. I got it reminded. I'm sorry. Like, look at this. They're down 3-0, so it doesn't matter at the end of the day. But come on. That's a situation where you use the person you're dunking on to get higher on your dunk. Jesus Christ, it don't get much better than that. We already saw this, and this is that Donovan Mitsu dunk. Give it back to him, Royce. In the playoffs, obviously. See all the white jerseys out there. Oh, the white shirts in the crowd. Whenever you see something like that, you can assume it's the playoffs. Cause they not just, they usually don't just give away shirts at normal regular season games. It does happen, but not very often. Okay, all right, all right, all right. I think we saw that a few days ago too. Good dunk, good dunk on the MVP of the league. You know what I'm saying? Good dunk on the MVP of the league. Miss. Oh, oh my God! This is the Rodney Hood game. Rodney Hood came into these overtimes and he was on. Fire! He was the freshest legs on the court, and he could not miss. Give it up to Giannis. Give it up to Giannis in a 2-2 series. They end up losing, obviously. Um, in a 2-2 series. That's a good dunk. That's a good dunk. Is that the last one? No, it's not. Cat with the block. And I think he, he follows it up with a dunk, don't he? Oh, no. He gives it up, and that's the kick. Yeah, that's the kick to Nico's you dig. That's why Nico didn't come back to the NBA. I'm going to keep saying that. That's the reason he didn't come back to the NBA. The man got kicked right in the, you dig. You know what I'm saying? That's not a place that you want a foot to ever be. For me, at least. For some people, that's okay. Let me chill. If you enjoyed the video, leave it a like. Again, subscribe if you're new. Or even if you're not new and you realize you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. We try to continue to grow this channel. And if I get another 5,000 subscribers this day, uh, a W. Thank y'all. Peace.